this video we'll be creating a dashboard in Abby Timeline. So what you can see on screen is that we're in an order to cache type of data set or project. I'll start by navigating to the dashboard area of the project and creating a new dashboard. You can have a list of multiple dashboards per project. We'll create a new one, we'll name it, and then what it's going to ask us to do is select the layout where each one of these panes will fit a certain metric for our dashboard and we can adjust this later on but right now I'll just choose to uh, display a 2 by 2 type of a dashboard so now that we've got our dashboard and our configuration created we're going to want to define some metrics and then chart visualizations to add to the dashboard so by going to tools metrics I can bring up my metric list this will include any predefined metrics in my project. I'm going to create a couple to use here. So first and foremost, we'll create an average order duration metric. So we'll name it, choose the set that we want to use. If we have a set defined in the project that we'd like to utilize specific to this metric, we can choose it here. We can give it a description and then we choose our metric type and aggregation. For this one, since we're doing an average order duration, I'll choose duration and then the average aggregator. And you can see the list of options that we have available. So just that simple, here's my average order duration. I'll choose to create one more saying our order count. So we'll name that count of timelines should work for us. That's essentially going to be a count of orders in this scenario. I'll save that one. Now I've added two more metrics to my metric list. So I can close this out. Once I've got my metrics defined, I'm going to bring up my chart editor. It's going to allow me to create visuals that are going to uh, display those different metrics in a number of different ways. So let's create a brand new chart. Okay, so first and foremost, you can name the chart if you'd like. What I'm going to do is actually go through and create the chart before I give it a name or description. Here are our different chart display types. And I'll take you through a handful of these as we go. Let's start with the most complex, which is going to be our combination chart and allow us to assign multiple metrics to a single chart. All right, so for our x-axis on this, let's choose it to, to be based on time and we'll actually do it by week, week over week. And we'll just say the label for this axis is week. For our bars on this chart, we're gonna do the order count. So I'll do actually a grouped or a stacked bar broken down by a certain dimension and I'm going to do my order count metric broken down by, let's call it employee. All right, so now I've got week over week, my order counts broken out by the employee that was responsible for that. Now I can choose to leave this as simply a stacked bar graph, or I can overlay this with a, another metric, a line chart. And so for this example, I'm going to use that single line and the average order duration over top of the order count. All right, so now we can see the count of orders broken out by employee overlaid with how long it's taking us to process each one of these orders. When our order volume goes up, does our order duration in turn go up and so on. Okay, so the label here was going to be average order duration. All right, now we can go back and name the chart once we've got it defined. So our chart name is going to be average order duration and total count by employee. All right, I save that. Now that I've got my new chart created, I can then add this to my dashboard. So I navigate back to my dashboard. I want to make sure I'm in edit mode. I click the plus sign and I can assign that chart to this dashboard and now you can see it available to me. Some of the other options that we have and I won't create them just so you can see what's available are num our numeric visuals simply adding a number to the dashboard you can also have pie graphs or bar charts a number of different types of visualization so I've filled out my 
my, my four metric panes here. If I wanted to, I can go in and edit. I can remove a chart from here. I could also split this so that I can add a second pane here where I wanted to include another metric, for example. Now, once I'm done editing this, I can go out of edit mode and go back into view mode. This is how the user would actually visualize the dashboard when they come here and, and analyze the data. Now I'm in view mode and if I select this enlarge, it'll actually pop up my view and give me some options here where I can drill in on a single specific employee using the show selecting and showing timelines. I can then choose to filter by a given dimension if I'd like to. So if I want to only look at the, uh, the orders that were of a certain employee or came out of a single location, let's call, say Dallas, I can dynamically apply filters to be able to look at that data in line to my dashboard. Okay, So this is creating and modifying a dashboard in Abbey Timeline.